All right, Jeremy Hazel here from Seven Season Studios. And if you like what you see and you want more, this comes from our class, The Ultimate Guide to Mockups in Affinity Photo and Photoshop, which is available in the subscription plan at the link below. So if you like what you see and you want more, click on the link below to check out how you can get all of our content for one low monthly price. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, gang, welcome back to Affinity Photo. If you've gone this far with me, you're interested in turning this record composite, or I should say this record mockup, into a composite. So let's go File, and I've included this in your downloads. I've included it, and I've called it Composite Base Image Prior to Composition. So it's the finished image, but what you've got here is all the layers that you created and what you did. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to load the brushes. So pull out your brush menu. And because you're a finisher here in our affinity course, I've included a special VFX pack that has the six brushes I'm going to use. It's got two particle brushes. It's got a fairy dust brush. It's got some lightning. It's got a flare and it's got some street spray. So I think we'll probably use all of them. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pixel layer underneath the record layer. So drag it underneath. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw some sparks off from this. I really love the light that's created with this. So I want to layer this. So I'm going to call this spark one just so we practice good naming. And again, we're out of the mock-up stage, so nobody's really gonna do this other than the person that's compositing. Grab your brush and let's choose particle one, okay? Now, this is a pretty big brush. I wanna go ahead and I wanna turn this thing down to be about maybe, I don't know, 120. Now, it's gonna take a minute for it to catch up there. This is a lot of processing power this thing is pushing. Now. Notice I'm somewhere in the reddish orange, right around in here. Now this brush has controls for pressure. So if you press harder, I'm gonna use my Wacom and I'm just gonna pull this thing down underneath and I'm gonna create kind of a swooping motion. Okay, now notice what's happening there. We're giving it time to mature here. You'll see we've got now two layers of these sparks. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna make the brush bigger. Okay, let's go ahead. One more layer of that swooping motion. Boom. All right, it's gonna take a second for it to catch up here. This thing is running on E here. All right, so I think we're pretty good there and all of that kind of occurs underneath the record. Now, what I'm gonna do is with that same brush, I'm gonna grab some yellow. I'm gonna drop this down a little bit and I'm gonna just draw a yellow swish. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Now, above the record, we're gonna create another pixel layer. Let's call this Spark 2. Now, I wanna differentiate the background from the foreground. I want Spark 2 to be lighter and I want it to be a different style. So I'm gonna come down to my brush and now I'm gonna choose my particle brush too. And this gives it a little bit different particle and I want the particles to be a little bit bigger and I also want them to be a little bit brighter. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this in. Now I'm gonna shrink this down pretty low. I'm gonna start up here in the yellow and I'm gonna swoosh that down along this area. Now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna raise that up a little. There we go, that looks really good. Now the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in with just kind of off white and I'm just going to tap. Now I'm gonna use my mouse for this. I'm gonna drop this down a little and I'm gonna tap. There we go. I just want a few. That's pretty awesome. Now, 
that's a good particle distribution, but what's gonna kick it up a notch is when we add effects. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to make a style. So we're gonna come down, let's start, let's turn off Spark 1, and let's start with Spark 2. Bring up your VFX or your FX window, which is right here. Now, it really comes down to three different effects, right? You want an outer glow, you want an inner glow, and you're also going to want a little bit of inner shadow. Okay, I'm gonna move it over here so we can see what's happening over here. Let's start with the outer glow. Let's go ahead and kick up the radius. Okay, that is way too much outer glow. And now, let's go ahead and bring that into kind of a yellow, because remember, a lot of those sparks are brighter. And we're going to go ahead and just make them a little bit off white. That's pretty cool. Now, we've got the blend mode set to screen. Let's go ahead and kick the radius up just a little bit further. And let's drop the intensity just ever so slightly. I don't want too much. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop the opacity. All right, right about here. So that handles that. Now, when you have a spark, right? I want the inner glow to be a little bit darker. And I wanna crank the radius up a little bit on it. Okay, let's crank up the intensity as well. And now we can change the blend mode. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to try, oh, let's go ahead and try the, let's try a big one, linear light. That's pretty awesome. Let's try, oh, okay, pin light's the winner winner. Let's try hard mix, now we're going pin light. Yep, we're going pin light. Yep. Ooh, no, I think linear light's gonna win out, folks. Yep, linear light wins. All right, but we wanna crank down the opacity on that just ever so slightly. All right, let's go ahead and kick that up a notch. All right, that looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna kick that up just a little bit more, and I'm gonna kick the radius down a little bit. Now, you could go ahead and toggle your center and you'll see how this changes. I like the glow to be around the edge. I think that it adds a little something to it. And the last thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of an inner shadow. So just a little bit on radius to kind of kick that down ever so slightly. And I'm going to make it so that it's not quite as pronounced. I think that that's going to be pretty cool there. Let's go ahead and Shoot for that in a yellow. All right. Cool. Let's try this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this. Let's go ahead, grab the VFX. All right. Off. On. That's pretty awesome. Now, let's do one more and then we'll end this lesson on some of this... Uh, Look here, we're gonna come down, we're gonna turn on the spark now. That's gonna give you that background. And now I wanna blow this out from the background. This one's gonna be big. Let's go ahead and outer glow this thing. And let's come on up here and crank that radius sky high. Okay, now what are we gonna do with this? I think that that's pretty cool. Let's try the blend mode game on this. I'm gonna come down to a hard mix. All right, actually I really like that. Let's try that, but now watch this. Let's go ahead and drop the intensity down a little bit and the opacity of the effect. All right, yeah, a little more. Somewhere in the middle, that hard mix is pretty aggressive. All right, let's see how that works. OK, 
Okay. All right. That looks pretty cool. All right. Let's go ahead and call it on this one. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some light. All right. We'll see you in the next one.